Lost in Space, an adventure with Rocky Star. Paul, Ilma, and Ivan have escaped from Astros, but when they try to remember the course back to Saturn, a mistake of a hundred degrees is made. Now the Taurus journeys ever further from the solar system into unknown space. On the search ship, the Streak, Rocky lies between life and death in the hospital cabin, and Mitch finds himself with the responsibility of navigating a course back the way they've come. He is sitting at the chart table with a worried frown when Di appears on the control deck. In the last two fixes, bearings, astronomical digression, Traveling at normal speed, uh, rate of change. Mitch! Huh? Hey, what? Oh, all right. Well, don't sneak up on a guy like that chicken. I'll jump clean out of my skin. I didn't sneak up, Mitch. You were concentrating hard, were you? Yeah, it's, it's a very great effort for me, concentrating. Well, how's it coming? Hard. How's Rocky? Asleep. Mitch, can I help? No, no, no. I nearly got it figured out, I think. Uh, hand me the slide rule, will you? Mm-hmm. A few nice, complicated calculations to make. Here you are. Thanks. Now I say one, two, three, and let's go. Here we play. Turn, uh, uh, multiply, uh, take away. Well? Yeah. Well, according to this, Saturn should be on bearing 243.6. Well, at least that's hopeful. Is it? Well, how do I know it's right? Would you check your figures? Yeah, but that don't mean much. Everything's only approximate. I haven't got a clue what the space fight did to our course. Yeah, it sure makes a guy realize how much we take Rocky's calculations for granted. Mm. You think of all the places we've been and never any doubt about arriving safely. And now... Oh, I'm sure you've done a good job in the course, Mitch. Well, I suppose a better correct course is bearing. 243.6. Okay, stand by. Firing deflector rockets. <laughs> ah, there she is. Right on. Now, let's see. Three stars make a nice line out there. Yeah, I better take a fix on them just to make sure, huh? I'd better get back to Rocky. Yeah. Giggle and grasshoppers. I don't know. Everything seems wrong without him around. You think he'd pull through, Di? Oh, we've done all we can, Mitch. And there's nothing to do now but just wait. Yeah, like we do to see how good this course of mine is. So wait a minute. What's wrong with me? We can use the detector beam to try and pick up that miniature star like we did before. Of course. It'll still be sending out radiation. Yeah, if we can get to that, we'll be well on our way. Now you go keep your eye on Rocky, Di, and I'll get things working. Man, I feel better already. Di, how is he? I'm afraid he's still unconscious. Oh, I sure wish I could have a talk with him. What's wrong, Mitch? Couldn't you pick up something from from the beam? No, half the electronic tubes burned out. Burned out? Yeah, I had to channel all our transmitting power through that beam circuit, you know, around the radiation valves. And yes. the, Well, I just knew it would blow the valve pretty soon, but not this soon. <sighs> when I came up with that radioactive thingamigummy, I, for, I forgot to switch the circuit off. What about the spare valves? I used all the spares to make up the circuit. Well, then we can't get a bearing on that star. Can't even raise a flicker. Well, Mitch, we'll... Just have to rely on your calculations. Yeah, that's what I'm afraid of. Oh, I sure wish Rocky Boy was on his feet. While the streak speeds on through space, her destination obscure, another spacecraft is seeking to return to Saturn. Completely unaware of the hundred-degree error they've made in their navigation, Paul, Ilma, and Ivan are waiting for some sign of Saturn to appear. Anything on the Magna screen, Paul? Plenty. But no planets with rings. Oh, it makes you feel so insignificant. To think we could travel on and on for millions of years past endless stars and planets it's, it's, and It's best sun. not to think of it, Ilma. Oh, how can I help it? Look out there. Space stretching on and on in all directions, never-ending. And here we are in the Taurus like a speck of dust. Smaller than a speck of dust. Hey, can it, will you, Wilma? You're giving me the willies. Oh, I'm sorry. Isn't there any sign of Saturn? Now, Van, how long do you reckon we should have to travel before we sight it? I... I was just thinking. 
Oh, no, we must not get over anxious. But we should, sighted Ivan. After all, we could see Astros from Saturn, and Saturn's much bigger. Yeah, that's true. Have you the screen at full magnification, Paul? Yeah, and there's no Saturn. Ivan, that means we must be traveling in the wrong direction. Yes, I'm afraid that is true. The wrong direction? Oh, it's my fault. I guess I got that bearing wrong. As if, if only you had written oh, it, Oh, all Paul. right, all right. I didn't write it down. We know that. Oh, well, it is done now. Well, there's no need to sound so superior oh, about it. Oh, stop it, boys. Oh, Van's getting on my nerves. Superiority. And you are a fool, Paul. Fool, I am. I'll show you. Oh. What? You? Oh! oh boys! I will teach you. Oh, stop it! No! Ilna, Ilna. Oh. I didn't mean it. I'm so sorry you you stepped in the way. Ilma, are are you all right? I I think so. I'm greatly sorry, but but you stepped between us. I had to do something. Here, sit down. Are you sure you are not hurt? Yes, Ivan. I'm so ashamed. Me too, Ivan. I guess it was as much my fault, Ilma. I'm sorry. As long as you're friends again, it doesn't matter. To hit you, and so hard. Lucky we discovered how to switch on the artificial gravity in this ship. You would have floated right across the cabin and crashed into the hull. We will not fight again, I promise. I guess things are getting us a little nervy. We must try and discuss things calmly. The thing we've got to face up to is that we're lost. Yeah. Well, about one chance in a million of getting back to Earth again. That sounds so terrifying. We're discussing it calmly, remember? Yes. Well, if we're lost, there is only one thing we can do. Try and find somewhere we can land and where we can live. Uh, then we... Paul! I... <coughs> oh, What's happening? We must have hit something. Oh, I'm scared. The ship's being thrown about like a cork. Hold tight. It's all we can do. She'll fall apart. Oh, but Steady, Ilma. Try and be calm. Uh, it's stopping. Oh, we're through it. No one hurt? No. No. Oh, this ship seems to be behaving normally now. It's screwy. There seems to be nothing but clear space all around. Are you sure? See for yourself. Nothing. Oh, well, we had better go on with our discussion. I feel all shaky. Oh, me too. It will pass. Now, what have we decided? We must find somewhere we can live. That means a planet. And with normal air. There is a possibility. Astros was normal. The air was. The people weren't. Hey, what, what is, is it, it, Paul? Look on the screen. There. See where I'm pointing? Doesn't that look like a planet to you? Yes, it it could be. Well, then let's investigate. Perhaps it, we'll find ourselves in trouble like we did on Astros. Perhaps we will find somewhere to live in. It could have an atmosphere. It, it seems a bit bluish. Then we'd better investigate it. Oh, I do hope there's no danger this time. <laughs> Rocky. Oh. Oh. Die. Oh, hello there. Rocky, you must keep still. What? I... Oh, my, my chest. You've been hurt. Hurt? But, 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 but how could... The, the square ship, the, the explosion. Yes, Rocky. You're in bad shape. You'll have to rest and give yourself a chance to recover. But the search, I, the, the Taurus, the plutonium, I I can't lie here. Rocky, you must lie back. Oh. Now lie back. Oh. That's an order. Oh. Oh, it, it looks as if I, I have to obey. That weaker than I thought. You've hurt your chest and three ribs. I, I'm telling you so that you'll cooperate. We don't want it. Lose you, Rocky. Oh, die. Die, you're not crying. But it, it's been such a strain waiting for you to show some sign. Oh, thought you'd lose me, huh? Sounds grim. Oh, hey, wh- wh- where's Mitch? He, he wasn't... No, 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 he's fine. He's checking the course so that... Oh, this sounds like him coming now. Uh-huh. How's Rocky die? Any sign of a, a, a... Rocky! You come out of it! Why, hello, Mitch. Oh, man, it's good to see you in working order again. Rocky, boy, it's great. It's real great. I, 
I hear you've turned navigator. Ah, uh, yeah. Ah, uh, yeah. Uh, Rocky, there's something I uh, want... Not now, yeah? Mitch. Yeah, but Di, I gotta talk it over with Rocky. I won't, I won't... have Rocky worry while he's so weak. Oh, but Di, I'm, I'm not that bad. I... Mitch knows whether you are or not. I'd have thought you'd have more consideration, Mitch. But, but he, he's worried about something, Di. I, I should know about it. Well, he can tell me. And then I'll decide whether you should know. Acting like nurse, doctor, and matron all roll up in a one. Come on, outside in the passage, Mitch. Hey. Now then, what is it? Oh, I'm sorry to be so inconsiderate about Rocky, Di, but it's really getting me down. You know, when we turned around, I took a fix on some stars. Yes. Well, there's something screwy. We've been traveling towards them for hours, see? But they're further away than ever. And, and Di, my watch has started up again. But it's going backwards. What strange things are taking place around the street? How can traveling toward a thing make it further away? There is excitement to come, so don't miss the next thrilling chapter of this Rocky Star adventure, Lost in Space! Thank <laughs> you.